everybody. Hope you all having a fantastic day. For today's message, I'm going to be doing a union reading, channeling the undifferentiated divine masculine and divine feminine, because it's all one. Remember, if something resonates, if something comes up as being in your person, remember it's in you too. Or they're your mirror. And without any further ado, we can jump straight in. And if you would like a personal reading or Twin Flame coaching, please check the description box below for the links. And we can jump in with the first card, which is Surrender. By surrendering to ourself, not our twin, we let go of all things that imprison us. We must unbind our soul from the questions of why, what, when and how. Once we release the time expectations of togetherness, we find our self-truth and divine purpose. Well, you surrender to the divine. So that there so then you allow the divine to show you. Or when you can trust and come to new, deeper levels of awareness with your twin flame. If you keep the, repeating the formula of surrendering to the divine and practicing self-love, the natural end result is one solid piece, a reflection of the whole picture. I release my need to always be right, to be in harmony with my divine partner is my ultimate desire. And the promise of dreams is that they come true. How does it feel to have it all? When it all comes together, you'll find that the whole picture is so much more than just the sum of its parts. It's different, it's expanded. You can see pretty much the whole process that the divine is going to take you through. So it doesn't mean that what you got is all you're going to get because when it comes together it's really, 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 really good. Do you have any doubts that you'll come into Harmonious Twin Flame Union in Divine Order? <clears throat> release that doubt. You're going to be coming into a place of great riches. Raphael. Earth Force. Now you're calling in deep into peace. The struggle is the illusion. The divine is taking you on a journey. Ask the divine what your next step is, what you need to do next. Deepen your faith here. Choose to have deeper faith. Trust the divine's cruise. How much of a hurry are you in? How do you know it will fall into place? You're gaining more and more experience with this. You know what's happened. You know what's going to happen. You already are in union. Just work in the process of aligning to that. Crown yourself. We are overcoming challenges. You're coming to a place of great mastery. It's a huge milestone you are reaching. No longer feeling stressed, but really knowing that you're progressing. Because you're coming to understand how progress happens. It's not through effort. It's, it's not a result of your learning. It just requires surrender. And the divine brings it to you. At the, at the pace that you can handle it. The perfect pace for you. The perfect, most compassionate divine pace for you so yeah don't try to control it you can't actually do anything to control it that's why surrender is so important self-love the card of self-love with the most powerful of intention is here to remind you that when your self-love is full within you can withstand anything it calls you to remember this so huge emphasis on the surrender and the self-love you find yourself in the place of surrender. Surrender control to the divine. You know the divine's going to do it all for you. Because the divine's already done it all. To bring you here. It was all the divine. 
so you can freely let go with confidence. Don't be distracted by the circumstances. They're, they're not important. None of that matters. The real thing that matters is you and the divine. And the more you move through what the divine is trying to teach you, everything's laid out for you. There's nothing more that needs to be done. Just look how far you've come. Success begets success. Feel things... Feel how things... Yeah, success <clears throat> big at success. Feel how things are going on the inside. If you know that a block is coming up or an issue, you just work through it by bringing self-love to the place that you didn't want to go. You've got to go to all the places that you don't want to go because they feel uncomfortable. And that's where you bring the self-love it brings you into a new level of awareness and intimacy with the divine and peace now you can go into more peace and then the divine is going to show you where to get more peace and then more and more and more and more peace hey you want some more peace accept it in total surrender I speak with love and compassion, being mindful that impulsive outbursts and harsh words could wound my divine partner. <clears throat> yeah, if there's any tendency or any urge to think or say harsh words, it's probably because it's hiding a deeper hurt. So feel through that and bring love to that place until the bad feeling dissolves and becomes a good feeling so you feel better in that place that's the solution I am presence Michael our manuscript twin flame union is just the beginning you can always go deeper with the divine each level is even greater than the last Remember, you're a real couple, even if you do believe in separation. If you're feeling numb in any area, just find that part of you that's not being true to her, him or herself. And tell that part of yourself that you're always there for yourself here and give that part of yourself all the love he or she needs. Sing even if your heart is breaking. And the solution is to surrender. And the divine brings it to you. It's the appropriate thing to do. It's time to make it easy on yourself. Know that there's always love for you. Look at your union as a normal relationship and cultivate the areas that are not in order. And you'll find that you'll come together easily and naturally it's yours already your person is waiting for your divine attention they're asking if you delight in them be yourself And love. All that's required here is love. Number 30, memories. Past memories bind us, but will also free us as we seek our own self-truth. When you feel lonely, look up to the night sky. You will see our universal home and the scars to guide you back to me. So, very galactic feel to this card. <sighs> yeah, you are being guided back to each other. But it must come through the lens of divinity. You're coming deeper into understanding and mastery of unconditional love and unconditional connection. When, If you've truly mastered unconditional connection, there's nothing between you and your harmonious twin flame union. I accept my divine partner for who they are 
embracing their unique self. You're already in a relationship, so honour it for what it really is. You're in love with each other. Honour yourself. You're already a couple in divine truth. The divine provides for her twin flames. Relax into this knowing and come into greater peace. Coming into greater peace with the divine is foundational to come into a physical relationship with your twin flame. It requires you to be there with them. Yeah, your relationship's going to be moving to the next level. So ask yourself, what's the next level for you? What does it require? And the divine gives you the thing that you require. And you know how to work through challenges to arrive at peace. But, it, but it's time to have that relationship with your man or your woman. So allow it, create it, restore it, recognise it. Let it be as it should, the way it is in your heart, the way it is in divine truth. Make it so, O oh child of the divine. Okay, everybody, I'm going to end this message here. I really hope that you enjoyed it, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.